एस यू मे बी दिस इज योर फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर हियरिंग अबाउट दिस वर्ड और मे बी यू नो आई बेट अबाउट दिस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न एस यू और मे बी यू आर एन एस यू एक्सपर्ट एंड वॉन्ट टू सी वॉट मोर सम वन कैन एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एस यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सम ऑफ द पॉइंट इन एस यू दैट नो वन इज गोइंग टू टेल यू इवन इन द प्रीमियम कोर्स माई नेम इज प्रीतम नगराले फाउंडर ऑफ डीमेटिक डिजिटल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल नाउ बिकॉज फ्री कॉन्टेंट ऑफ दिस चैनल इज बेटर देन premium content so let's learn about seo seo stands for search engine optimization there are three things that is included in seo first is search engines like google bing yahoo and others second search queries that people type when the search in, in a search engine and third websites that rank on the first page of search results with these queries so if i talk about definition of seo then i can say like this SEO is the process of optimizing a website so that this website can rank on the first page of the search engine with the targeted keywords of that website so that this website can receive organic or you can say free traffic now what is the purpose of getting the free and targeted traffic from search engines for example google first if you are running a business you can sell your products or services courses training or anything second you can build online reputation of your brand or company third you can promote affiliate products and generate income and fourth you can create a niche blog and make money with programs like google adsense let's understand seo with an example and see how much profit you can generate with seo example one suppose you are running a digital marketing training center in mumbai and you provide digital marketing classroom training in your institute i will use samrush to research how many people search for digital marketing training from your city mumbai samrush is an excellent tool for keyword research website audit and competitor analysis here i use my keyword digital marketing courses in mumbai you can see 4400 people search for this keyword and there are many similar keywords around 210 keywords now suppose after doing seo your website rank on the first results on the first page of google now the first result of the first page receives around 30% ctr that is click through rate it means your website will receive 1320 visitors in a month from this single keyword If you consider 2% conversion then around 26 people will join your digital marketing courses every month. A good digital marketing training cost around 40000 so you can get a potential business of around 10 lakh 40000 rupees from a single keyword digital marketing courses in Mumbai. If you consider more similar keywords as you can see here you can make more money example 2 suppose you are doing an affiliate marketing and you have published a post how to start a blog on your affiliate website now you are an affiliate of a web hosting company and you are promoting the web hosting of that company within this post if you research the keyword how to start a blog on samrush you will find the monthly searches around 22000 and many similar keywords If your website ranks first on the first page you will receive around 6600 visits on your post and if you consider just 1% conversion then you will get 66 conversion every month $3300 per month is the average commission for promoting this web hosting so you will make around $3300 from a single keywords if you consider other keywords you can imagine your earnings example 3 You are running a niche blog and Google AdSense is your main source of income. Now consider you have written a post how to earn money online on your website. According to Samrush, there are around 2 lakh searches every month for this keyword. If your website ranks first on the first page, then you receive around 60,000 visits on your website. If I consider 3% CTR on AdSense ads, then around 1800 people will click on your ads on this post. You can see the CPC of this keyword is 44 cents. Google pays 68% of what advertisers pay to Google. So you will receive 68% that is 30 cents for every click and your total earning will be $540. You will earn $540 from a single keyword how to earn money online. You can imagine your earning if you rank with more keywords. I personally rank for similar keywords so I know the potential is more than this calculation. These are the examples with single keywords but in reality when Google ranks a post with one of the keywords then the website also ranks with many keywords for example you can see this post you can see this post ranks with thousands of keywords and its total traffic is this much i'm sure you got the idea what is seo and how much is the potential of seo now we'll see how to do seo and how to get lots of targeted traffic on your website 
if you want to rank any website and google or any search engine then you need to follow an algorithm created by google algorithm means set of rules or step by step procedure to complete a specific task in seo this specific task is ranking a website in search engine there are around 200 factors on or signals you can say and google algorithm google uses the signals to rank all the websites in the world with different keywords but all 200 signals do not have equal importance some factors play an important role in ranking and some factors are least important you can categorize these 200 signals in three parts or you can say there are three major parts of seo first is technical seo or on-site seo second is on-page seo and third is off-page seo or you can say link building let's learn quickly about all three parts of seo first is technical seo or on-site seo everything that you do on your website other than content is included in technical seo here are some of the important things included in technical seo that you, that you apply on your website to perform better in search engines First is domain name and server location. Whether it's your name or some keyword or a brand name, a domain name plays a role in SEO. So similarly, your hosting company also plays an important role in your SEO. So choose it wisely. If you are just beginning, I will recommend Hostinger or Bluehost. This is good for starters and you can get it for as low as $1 per month. Second is page speed. Page speed is a crucial factor in SEO. If your website is slow, Google is not going to love your website. If your website is on WordPress, you can use cache plugins to speed up your website. You can also try AMP on your website to make it ultra fast. Third is site architecture. You need to focus on your site structure, your categories, navigation, tags, sitemap, breadcrumbs. All these things help to make a proper site structure. Fourth is schema markup. Did you observe some different results in Google when you search queries related to people, things or places? For example, this or this. You will see the rich snippets along with results. This is very useful to beat your competitor and you can achieve this with the help of schema. Fifth is SSL certificate. SSL helps you to convert your website from HTTP to HTTPS. Extra is in HTTPS means this website is secure and encrypted. This is important in building trust with your website visitors. Sixth is mobile friendly and responsiveness. Google is now using mobile first indexing. That means the mobile version of your page is used for indexing and ranking. So you need to be serious for this. Your website should be mobile friendly. You can find various themes like generate press that is not only mobile friendly but very fast. Seventh, 404 errors. If you delete some pages on your website and if people visit such deleted pages, then they will find 404 errors on your website. You need to find all 404 error pages on your website and fix this. Eighth is broken links. In the same way, when you keep on adding posts on your website, you give various outbound links from these posts. But if you but if the website owners deleted these pages or even close the website, your website visitors will get broken links when they visit these websites from your post. Google does not like this. You need to find all broken links from your website and fix it. Ninth is robots.txt file and sitemap. Robots.txt is like the entry guide of your website for search engines. You give this file at the root of your website and this is used to instruct robots on how to crawl your website. Sitemap is like a map of your website. This includes all of the URLs on your website like posts and pages, images, videos and other files, categories, tags and authors. There are various tools and plugins that help you to build a sitemap for your website. You can submit your sitemap in Google Search Console and add the same in your robots.txt file. You need to set all these things only once. If your website's technical SEO is perfect, it does not mean your website will rank in Google. Perfect technical SEO makes your website eligible to rank in Google. After technical SEO, you need to follow another next step that is on-page SEO. Now learn about on-page SEO. In on-page SEO, you need to optimize individual posts and pages on your website. So next time when you publish a post, you can follow this checklist for doing on-page SEO. Your content should be engaging and satisfying to the readers. Optimize keywords. You need to optimize each and every page of your website with the keywords you are targeting on respective pages. You need to target main keywords and LSI keywords. SEMrush is an excellent tool for keyword research. Third is post structure and headings. Your post should have proper structure and you need to use title in heading 1 and subheadings in h2, h3 or h4. Fourth is light images with all text. 
Use good images with all tag that helps search engines to understand your images. Fifth is internal and external links. You must interlink relevant articles with you within your post and add useful links to other authority websites. Internal links are good for reducing bounce rate and increasing engagement. Six is short URL. Your website URL must be short and clean. You should target the main keyword in your URL. Seventh is meta tags. One of the most important ways to target your keywords in Google is by adding your main keyword or LSI keywords in your meta title and meta description. You can use online tools or WordPress plugins like Rank Math or Yoast to generate meta tags. These plugins also help to show you the score of on-page SEO. If you follow all these tips, that means you are doing good on-page SEO for your content. If your website is on WordPress, then you can use plugins like Yoast or Rank Math that help you for better on-page SEO. If you need a separate video on on-page SEO, then you can post a comment for that. On-page SEO is not difficult. You'll be an expert after you practice on some of the posts on your website. If your technical SEO and on-page SEO is good, then some of the posts on your website where you target long tail and low difficulty keywords will start ranking on Google. But there are many keywords that do not rank even after excellent on-page SEO and where the next step of SEO comes and that is off-page SEO. Off-page SEO, as the name indicates, off-page SEO means something you need to do away from your website. Most of the people use another word for off-page SEO and that is link building. Link building is not the only thing in off-page SEO but it's the most important thing. So we will talk about link building only. Link building means creating or earning backlinks for your website on other websites. Backlinks are the most important factors among 200 factors in Google's algorithm. I'll show you with an example. One of the posts from this website is giving a link to my website moneyconnection.com. If I click on this, my website will open. You need to create or earn similar backlinks for your website. Backlinks are like voting in the eyes of Google. More backlinks mean more votes and that helps to rank your website in Google. But all backlinks do not have equal importance in Google's algorithm. Some backlinks have very high value, some backlinks have average or neutral, neutral value and some backlinks can have negative values. Most of the people do not have clear idea about good or bad backlinks. People think that a high DA website is always good and low DA backlink is not good. But sometimes it may be the opposite. I'll create a separate video on off-page SEO and clear all your doubts on this. And I'll show you how to create high quality backlinks for your website. So now you know what is SEO, its types and how to rank your website and get traffic with SEO. Here is a conclusion. First is technical SEO, on-site SEO. You need to do it once and it's easy. Second is on-page SEO and you need to optimize your content and it's easy too. Third is off-page SEO, building backlinks. You need to create high quality backlinks. I'll cover all three topics and details in my next videos. Now, the most important things. Do you think only SEO is responsible to rank your website? I have been doing SEO from the last 11 years. I have done various experiments and analyzed thousands of websites. According to that, Google ranks any website based on these five reasons. First is good SEO. You have done SEO on some of the posts on your website. This can help you to rank your website. Authority. Second is authority. If you build an authority in the eyes of Google, most of your content ranks in Google even without SEO. Third is low competition niches. There are many niches where you will find very low competition. If you work on such niches, you can rank even without SEO. You can check my video on 38 low competition niche ideas. Fourth is social shares or viral content. If you have written an excellent post and thousands of people are sharing your content and you are getting huge social traffic, this can help you in ranking. And fifth is experiment. If you keep on publishing good content on your website, Google give you a chance to see how people engage with your content. If Google thinks your website deserve, deserves, then you can get ranked and traffic even without SEO. There may be any reason to rank your website, but if your content is not engaging, then you will lose your rank. So your primary focus should be your content. 
I'm not asking you to write the best content of this world because Google is a machine and does not make any difference between the best content and the worst content. Google understands only engagement. You need to write content that can completely satisfy your visitors. I'm sure you learned a lot from this video. If so, then give a thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends.